Now it's time to model the object further. In my case, I'll continue to define the face. Switch over to edit mode and use the loop cut tool or the shortcut control R for adding extra loops, for refining the shapes and adding more geometry to push around. Because of the subdiv modifier, the closer geometry gets, the more it will pinch and essentially prevent this average smoothing. Grab, rotate and scale the mesh to resemble the general form you want to go for. You can also press G twice to slide vertices and edges along instead of freely moving them. By selecting and extruding some faces, we can create a nose and beak area. If you slide the upper edge fully into one side, you can merge these vertices by distance by using the M menu. The eyes were so far missing, so I'll add them as spheres as well. For some extra definition, add more objects and extrude some areas like eye sockets and the beak. Moving on to the cube itself, we can add just a little bit more definition by using the bevel tool or the shortcut control B. Using that on all the edges, we can add a bit of a beveled curve to catch some light and make it a bit smoother. But once we add the subdiv modifier, it would again smooth and distribute the loops a bit more evenly. To prevent that and make it a bit more crisp around the edges, we can add some extra loops. For the other objects, it's pretty much the same thing. Define the shapes further and add more loops. The mirror modifier is your friend, extrude for thickness, then add a subdiv modifier for smoothing, then add some more loops for sharper edges. You can even stack more modifiers on top. As an example, duplicate and transform the tail feather. Add another mirror modifier to the new feather and define the middle feather as the mirror object to automatically mirror the feather to the other side as well. So in this case, we have two mirror modifiers that do different things on one object. Keep duplicating the feathers to make a little bunch of tail feathers. Using the modifiers like this makes changing things really easy and fast while keeping the original mesh intact. Continue like this for the other objects and also try out the other tools in the toolbar and also the other operators in the menus in the header and just experiment. Once you're done, you can apply some of the modifiers if you want or just directly continue with shading.